Hey, many fish. It is still the 19th of April, uh, 2018, and I, I have to show you this. Earlier, I did a video, and this was one of the articles that led me to, you know, the sevens, right? Let me turn the volume down. It was one of the multiple articles that I saw, see right there, with the seven reference in it. But for whatever reason, I outlined the seven and the prints, and I think I figured out what was maybe being shown to us when I did that, because I really wasn't sure at the time, except for the fact that we were looking at a lot of the, uh, the Pantone and, you know, Barbara Bush's purple building and all that stuff, right? We were looking at all this earlier today and so the prints purple prints and that's I guess really what I saw because what I just saw just now blew my mind completely blew my mind because this just came out okay just came out prosecutor Prince thought he was taking common painkiller I mean seriously are you kidding me? What are the chances of this 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 article coming out right now? It's even on Drudge. Prince investigation, no criminal charges. Right as we're talking about that stuff. And of course, the first thing that came back into my mind was this. The Super Bowl. Where they showed Prince, remember? This was just one of the most insane, blatant, satanic rituals ever performed, you know. And they had Prince and the Purple at the Super Bowl. And it was insane. The Tabernacle of Satan. You see where I'm coming from? That, right there, was a big deal. And we all knew it. I mean, that's just off the hook, out of control. So that's how it leads me back to Prince from earlier today. But it doesn't end there. This is the real kicker right here. The Super Bowl, right? February 4th, right? February 4th to tomorrow, including the day, 76 days. The 21st, obviously, including the day, once again, 77 days, 7711. What do you guys make of that, huh? I mean, I'm sorry, that's, this is getting to the point where, I mean, even I'm just going, you know, bring it on. I mean, it's like a bittersweet thing. That this whole world just is so not ready for. And I pray that more and more of you do come to Jesus. That's all I can say. Sincerely. Because these things are coming to this earth. And one more thing I wanted to point out. The seven Prince George kids. This is just really interesting. Where that event occurred is right outside of Washington, D.C., in a place called Hyattville. There it is, right there, sorry. Hyattsville. Right here is where that incident occurred. And it's funny, because if you follow this road, Route 1, and you follow it right into D.C., it's literally part of the pentagram that's not complete. The incomplete pentagram. See it right there. Right? Incomplete section right there. Right? That means the spirits can still get out and run around. And you see this pentagram shape in here like the pentagon. You know what I'm saying? And that's the crown of the queen. The queen bee. And there she is right there. And she's just waiting for Osiris to impregnate her so they can have their little kids from out of the pit. You follow that road off of her crown, 
and it brings you right to where our little kids all decided to cut their wrists right there in Hyattsville right on that very road and if you follow route one you know what it brings you literally stay right on one road the whole way I've done it <laughs> Philadelphia brings you right to Philadelphia and then if you continue on that road it brings you right to New York and if you look at the whole eastern seaboard in fact route one will continue to bring you right to Boston Massachusetts where route one essentially began straight line right down New York Philly right to DC the whole eastern seaboard there's just too much wickedness in this world and it's becoming too obvious and you know I'll tell you what the one who holds this stuff back isn't gonna hold it back forever just know that and understand that we can look here and see all this evil all over the internet we know it's going on around the world but it's not quite in all of our backyards yet okay so you need to prepare for things like that you need to prepare and it's a spiritual preparedness if you do not have the power of Christ the, the very essence of God in your court when these things come to pass you'll be done for so seek Jesus Christ if you do not know him already and I guess I went off on a little much of a tangent there but I had to show you that what are the chances man the Prince I knew it and then this comes out just a few hours after that is bananas Prince's on their nice purple 77 days from the Super Bowl that's crazy but it's a crazy world but it's not so crazy very deep sense of peace when you're in Christ let me tell you so praise God and seek him peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 